Well, guys, I lent out one of my favorite little torches and somebody broke it. And that belonged in my tool bag. So now I have a hole in my tool kit where there should be something. So today we're going to figure out a good replacement that's cheap, durable, and won't burn my tool bag all up. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm going to try and solve a problem that I've got where I'm trying to find a replacement lighter for a mini torch, a little tiny guy that used to sit in my tool bag. It got busted and it's never been right ever since I lent it out to somebody. So I went to Amazon and I tried to find a replacement lighter and I'm looking for one that's not as big and as bulky as this awesome burns matic This guy is awesome, but could you imagine something this big in your tool bag? Not really applicable. So, I went to the almighty people of Amazon and I pulled out a series of torch lighters and let's take a look and see what comes in the box and whether or not it's going to fulfill my needs for my toolkit. Anyway, to start it off, I've got this guy right here and wow, this is a big box. It's a Tamolo and it looks like there's two of them in there. Yeah, all right. So, there is two. You can tell, if you look at some of these cases, a lot of them look like they're made by the same company, and that's probably because they might just be made by the same company. So this is a, a two lighter kit. All right. You can see it's very fancy. It's a nice little lighter. I, I like it, it looks nice. Um, so this guy here, it's got a manual flip up lid. So it flips up, flips closed. The lid has got a metal hinge. It looks very durable. It looks nice. Um, I guess the best thing about this guy is your torch head is in the middle of a whole bunch of metal. So the likelihood of anything touching this after it's hot is probably pretty slim. It's got a semi-clear reservoir. So I can actually see exactly where my fluid levels are. This guy's already filled up. You adjust the flame. You have a little lever right here that you pop up and you twist it one direction or the other. Not too bad. Uh, at least I know I won't inadvertently increase or decrease the flame for where I set it because I like setting my flames at a very particular uh, point. It's also got a cigar hole punch. Not like I'm ever going to use that, but there it is nonetheless. <laughs> so anyway, um, this guy here, I, I have noticed it's got no safeties, which is okay because this is going to go in my tool bag and I really hate when I have to do another function in order to get it to work. So it's a two function lighter. You have to lift it up and then you hit it and it lights very regularly. Very nice. There's three tiny little torch heads in there and the distance. Ooh, ooh, okay. So that one there is about eight or nine inches. Yeah, those three little torch heads. So I can get about that far away from it. And that's about how far you want it to be away if you're doing like shrink tube. Don't get it like this close because you're going to catch that on fire. But let's let's take a look. I'm going to let it go for a few seconds. And then I'm going to feel for heat because that's one of my important criteria. The reliability, like how many times you can click it. Every single time it lights right up. It's really good. And then heat. Well, in all that, uh, the metal housing up here, I can feel that it's definitely quite warm, but it's not intolerable. I mean, I can I can definitely still touch it. I imagine it's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. This piece right here is plastic underneath the metal housing. Nothing really much to worry about on this guy. Best part is it's very compact. It's very compact, and since it's closed, the lid is really cold right now, given the fact that I had it running for a while. So it caps it off and it's a safety mechanism because if the if the lid's closed, you can't light the lighter. So I like it. That is the Tamolo. It comes in a two kit. This guy here I already filled up with lighter fluid just to save time. But it, very easy to fill up. It was quite nice. Next is going to be the Zoo Cura Honest 450 lighter. 
first impressions on this guy is it's very slender, extremely slender. Take a look at that. So this guy here, uh, you fill it from the bottom and it's got a large uh, sprocket that you can spin one direction or the other and that'll increase or decrease your flame. I always set the flame for minimum, um, just the very, very minimum that it's going to get a um, good light every single time. This one here has two little torch heads in there and they're cross pattern. So this one here I have to click a couple times because I believe I have it set at such a low point. But I do that not just to conserve fuel, uh, but also not to use you know more flame than I need because usually you're in close proximity to other stuff. So I set it, I can use one hand on that, you see that? Very nice. Single action lighter, unlike the other one that was dual action. You know, you had to flip the lid up and then you had to hit it. But this guy has another little feature up its sleeve. It's got a lighter lock. You see that guy right here? So what you do is you light it and then you slide it over. And then if you want to release it, you just slide it back. It's got a clear viewing window. So this one so far has the best viewing window to see how full it is. Uh, this one over here, I can still make it out, but it's, it's a smoked out plastic reservoir. Although this one's got a very large reservoir compared to this one. So guys, that is the Honest 450 lighter. I like it. For reliability, I would say that it works quite often. So it's got a pretty high reliability. And uh, one of the things I want to point out with this guy that I kind of like is you can see where the torch heads are in relation to the outside material. They're very centered. Do you see that? Since they're very centered, they're not coming into physical contact with that inner housing, that inner sleeve that's going to get very hot. So the outside of this guy is, I'd say, at best warm. Very consistent flame. Yeah, at best it's warm. So that's a very good point on this guy is that it's got a lot of space up there so that it... Uh, doesn't get extremely hot near the nose. That's definitely one of my criteria. I want to be able to put it down someplace and for it not to melt whatever surface it is I'm laying it on. Another thing uh, is it might be very slight and maybe just a little nitpicky, but notice how it tapers compared to the body. Well, it tapers so when you lay it down, the nose is off the surface. It's actually up and off the surface. See how it's tapered just a little bit right here? It's also tapered in that direction. So when you lay it down, this is actually floating down here at the hot side, which is a really good point. Yeah, it's definitely floating. So, so far, I really like this guy. I wish it had a little bit larger reservoir because if I use it even remotely often, then I'll be filling it quite a bit. But uh, the nose is all metal. The case is plastic. It's got a good one hand operation. I like it. That's the Honest 450 lighter. This guy might be the one that goes in my tool bag. The next one is this guy right here. It says classic fashionable lighter. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. Warranty card, $18. I, I don't know what that's about. Um, okay, so there's a gift card. I don't know if you want to do that. Uh, very simple. Okay, very simple instructions. So it says that there's a charging cord under the tray. Is there? There is a lanyard under the tray. That's not a charging cord, that's a lanyard. Okay. Well, I guess that's a cool feature. It's, it's just a nylon uh, lanyard, which I'll probably use that on something else. You can see it's got a lanyard hole right there. So this is a uh, multi-step lighter. So it completely encompasses the uh, lighter head. So even if it gets really hot, you just close the lid. And I hope that that lid can tolerate a reasonable amount of heat. I don't know if it's touching in there or whatnot. And then it secures the lid with this little bail right here. You see that? You don't necessarily need that. I'll probably use it like that. But so you do step one, step two. So it's a two step. Now this guy is, is definitely a more 
plasticky lighter. Let's see, who makes this? Who makes this? US lighter at yeah.net. It doesn't really give too much of a description on what, what this lighter is or who makes it. I'll leave all the information for these lighters down below because uh, just because I say one of them's good, one of them's not, doesn't mean anything. So immediately, uh, visually, there's no fill port from the outside. And you can tell on the inside, there is a white tank for your fluid. And here's the fill port. And see this white arrow? You can see that the arrow's pointing that way right there. That is actually your plus and minus to reduce or increase your flame. And right now you can see I've got it turned way down. So there's some pretty big negatives on this guy so far. One of them is you can't really see your fluid level inside that opaque um, tank. I, I mean, I can see some bubbles in there, but when I was filling this guy, I could not tell. It was really difficult. And also this plus and minus for the flame, that is an absolute pain in the butt. To You have to like dig a nail in there and try and spin it. So you can see right there the arrow that I'm talking about. So this guy, it's, it's got some real pluses. Plus you can't, you can't tell which direction you're supposed to put it in. If you put it in this way, it won't close. You put it in this way, it will close. It's, it's a plasticky feeling lighter, but I guess if you're looking for a lighter that you can put in your pocket that you wouldn't have to worry about it getting hot, that's what this guy would be definitely good for. And it's got a lanyard and the bail keeping it closed definitely makes this a waterproof lighter you can tell it's got a uh, it's got an o-ring around it none of the other ones are waterproof this one is which might be why they reduced weight everywhere they can with the plastic it seems like it's a good lighter and it seems like it's reasonably reliable so sometimes it doesn't ignite often it does I'd say probably 60 or 70 percent of the time it does it's a good lighter it's definitely one that i would put in my pocket if i was going someplace piezoelectric nice one all right let's go for the big guy so this one this is a special lighter let me guess nothing there okay this is the tech boss the tech boss and one of the things you notice immediately on this guy when you pick it up, it's kind of heavy. It's heavy because all this nose right here is metal. And it has a party trick. See it? It rotates. Which could be really cool. So you, if you're torching something like this. When it comes to reliability on this guy, I have had a couple small issues. So the igniter is a little wire, you can see it right there, and it I've had to adjust it several times. Here, let me turn the flame up a little bit. There it goes, that could be the problem. So I had to bend the igniter wire down towards the center cone, but that's not even probably my biggest gripe about this guy. My biggest gripe is that since it's nose heavy, you can see when I lay it down, it wants to lift the tail off the table and it wants to put the nose on the table and the nose actually gets hot on this guy it's got all this metal it's actually i mean if i were to try and balance it in the middle it is definitely nose heavy it does have the cool party trick where you can use it in this configuration right here so if you were trying to light up a um a fastener that's stuck and you're trying to heat it up this would be definitely more comfortable and it places your hand far enough away from the hot point which is a good good piece for this. It, it Just like the other one, when you actually get it lit, you can slide this guy down and that will lock it on so the flame is running. And this has only got a single cone, so this one will conserve a little bit more fuel, but your proximity to the flame, you're gonna have to get a wee bit closer. So right there, about five to six inches away is where you're gonna have to use it for um, if you're doing shrink tube. But this, this guy, even over that period of time that I just had it on, the nose is already getting quite warm right here. And that was not very long. The good things about it 
is it does have a nice larger size reservoir with a clear window so you can see exactly how full it is and it's got a large unprotected dial which is kind of easy to spin so I could see pulling this in and out of a tool bag it's not protected unlike even this one right here you can see that it's got kind of a crown that protects it so this one here if you put it in a tool bag or something uh, there's a good chance you're going to be modifying its um, settings it is a good good lighter I really wanted to love this guy but the fact that it's got all this material down here and all it does is just get extremely hot I, I really want to love this one but compared to this one right here the honest 450 I just you can see the size difference weight difference I would say it feels almost like twice as heavy and that's due to all the metal right up here and they do that because heavier objects feel like it's better quality even though it might not be you can see this one the honest it's got um, aeration so that you can get that fine jet of air that comes out which is why I have to hold my hand further away from it so the air comes in and the, it accelerates with the flame which creates that torch and it shoots it out so that's what these grates are for and this one you can see it here in the side that's what it does but if it was my priority I would say definitely the honest 450 um this little two pack right here the tamolos I, I really dig it the fact that it didn't get too hot, it's got a triple flame. So if you need to light something up and get it really hot, like if you're uh, trying to get a fastener out or something, this little tamolo right here is fantastic. If you are looking for a long-term situation in a bag or something like that, definitely this guy right here. And my last choice, even though I really wanted to like it the most, was the Tech Boss. I mean, the fact that I could alter the setting so easily, the fact that it's nose heavy, and the fact that it's wants to get so hot so in my order of preference I would honestly take it in this order the honest 450 the tomolo the little plastic guy right here and then this one but if it was really up to me I take these two and probably set these side over but there you have it guys um, I think this guy's gonna go in my tool bag and this guy right here I might give out to somebody I don't know find out this is still a really good lighter though. This is the Tamolo. Still an excellent little lighter. I really dig it. I like the fact that it's got that safety feature so that when the lid's closed, it doesn't get enough oxygen to ignite. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll have to do it in that order and set this guy off to the side. Because I really dig this guy. It was easy to fill. I like that. So anyway, guys. I hope you like this video on lighters, butane lighters, because this is how I go out and find the next thing for my tool bag, actually put it into use and see which one really measures up and which ones don't. The ones that don't measure up, it might stay here at the house in a drawer or something. Maybe I'll give it away. But the ones that do measure up, like the Honest 450 right here, oh, I really dig this little guy. It's going to go into use immediately. Thanks for watching, guys.